Ronan Reigns never getting dethroned as undisputed Universal Champion, current champions who won't drop their titles until WWE WrestleMania 40, Rhea Ripley to miss WWE Fastlane 2023, details on WWE's plan for Brock Lesnar to face The Rock at WrestleMania, Matt Riddle's next big move after WWE release leak, former WWE Champion wants a WrestleMania match against Seth Rollins in India, 33-year-old responsible for LA Knight's WWE success. Let's jump right into it. Current champions who won't drop their titles until WWE WrestleMania 40 Whilst WrestleMania 40 is still over six months away and there are still many champions in the WWE who could certainly hold their gold all the way until the grandest stage of them all in Philadelphia on April 6 and 7, 2024. As of today, Roman Reigns has ruled as the undisputed WWE Universal Champion for one, one, two, one days and counting, and with him working a part-time schedule and being the biggest star in the company, it seems unlikely that you will lose the gold before Mania. Therefore, we are going to take a look at four other current champions who, like Roman Reigns, could potentially hold their belts until Mania 40. Number 4. The Ring General continues his dominance. Like Roman, another champion who has broken records in recent weeks is the Intercontinental Champion, Gunther, with him becoming the longest reigning holder of the belt of all time. During his reign, Gunther has looked utterly dominant, defeating top names such as Drew McIntyre, Sheamus, Ricochet, Chad Gable, Braun Strowman, and Shinsuke Nakamura. One name that many fans want Gunther to face on the main roster is his former NXT UK rival, Ilja Dragunov. Speaking on Booker T's Hall of Fame podcast, Dragunov said that he is very keen to face the Austrian on the grandest stage of them all. It must be Gunther. It must be him. There is no other choice. This is destiny. There is no other match that makes people feel this dimension of emotions that we both can produce just because we're directly opposite. There is not one person that has taught me more, not one person that has pushed me more, and there is no one person that I can have a better match with on such a high level as WrestleMania. Number 3. Rhea Reigns Supreme. As well as Gunther and Roman Reigns, another one of the most dominant champions on the main roster is the women's world champion, Rhea Ripley. The Australian won the gold at WrestleMania 39 after defeating Charlotte Flair. With very few stars presenting very few challenges to her at this moment in time, it seems logical that WWE will keep her holding the gold all the way to Philly. The company also announced this past week that the penultimate premium live event before Mania, Elimination Chamber, will be taking place in Rhea's home country. Therefore, they will want to keep her with the belt in front of her home crowd. Number 2. The Genius of the Sky Continues to Dominate At SummerSlam last month, EO Sky cast and her Money in the Bank briefcase on Bianca Belair to become the new WWE Women's Champion. With the company looking to establish more top names, the Japanese star could have plenty of time now to flourish as champion until the show shows. Speaking at the SummerSlam post-show press conference last month, Bailey, Sky's stablemate, commented on her friend's recent huge victory. The fact that Io walked out, first of all, winning Money in the Bank was a big deal, and the fact that she walked out with the WWE Women's Championship tonight, being Bianca Belair, who we confronted last year, brought it all back around is magic. Number 1. WWE's Architect is still on top of the world. The biggest title in WWE outside of Roman Reigns' undisputed belt is Seth Rollins' World Heavyweight Championship. The former Universal Champion won the big gold belt back in May, when it was reintroduced at Night of Champions. Since then, Rollins has been a fighting champion, taking on all challengers who attempt to take the title off of him. During a recent interview with the Daily Mail, Seth reflected on a recent moment when a fan at a house show called him a fake champion. Being a fighting champion is taking its toll on me. I have one guy over here, that guy right there is calling me a fake a champion, Rollins said before pausing and allowing the crowd to unleash a chant of be his A. I am here in your city, sweating buckets, bleeding my own blood. I am far from a fake a champion. I am a fighting champion because you guys deserve a champion that's gonna show up, a champion that's gonna sweat buckets, a champion that's gonna bleed his own blood. Unlike Roman, Seth has made it clear that he wants to be a full-time champion and to make sure the title represents the hard-working nature of a true holder of the WWE World title. Rhea Ripley to Miss WVE Fastlane 2023 WVV Fastlane 2023 is just around the corner, but Rhea Ripley has not been present recently for any build-ups for the upcoming PLE. While fans may think she might miss out on the show, recent reports indicate that may not be the case. Nia Jax returned on the September 11, 2023 edition of WWE Raw and laid waste to two top female stars. The irresistible force arrived at the end of the Raquel Rodriguez vs. Rhea Ripley match. Jax initially attacked Raquel but later set her sights on the Judgment Day member. Since then, both stars have not been seen on television. While it was reported that the women's world champion has suffered whiplash, that wasn't really the case. As recently reported, Rhea Ripley had planned time off and is currently in her home country of Australia. She was even spotted last week with a E. Dealer star and Fiance Buddy Matthews at a rugby game. It was then reported that she may be back in two weeks, which is around the October 2 episode of WWE Raw, the final episode of the red brand before WWE Fastlane. While the Eradicator is out of the picture for now, the rest of the Judgment Day remain active. On the upcoming Raw episode, 
episode, Damian Priest and Finn Balor are set to defend their undisputed tag team titles against Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. On the other hand, Dominic Mysterio will defend his NXT North American Championship against Dragon Lee. The irresistible force has already made a dominant return by attacking the Eradicator on Raw. According to a wrestling veteran, this might not be a one-time clash between the women. Dutch Mantel, although he has some in-ring safety concerns regarding the recently returned star, stated that the Stanford-based promotion could be looking at a potential high-profile feud between Jax and Ripley. I think they do have some money with the Rhea and Naya storyline. Let's get the creative team on that and see what they can come up with. It is pretty interesting, but I did like the way she debuted. She just showed up. WWE Fastlane 2023 is only a few weeks away. However, the Stanford-based promotion has not yet announced any matches for the premium live event. WWE Fastlane 2023 will take place at the Gamebridge Fieldhouse in Indianapolis, Indiana on October 7, 2023. Fans will have to wait and see what the promotion has in store for them. Details on WWE's plan for Brock Lesnar to face The Rock at WrestleMania. Brock Lesnar is one of the most dominant superstars in the company today. His rise to dominance started after he defeated The Rock at SummerSlam in 2002 to win the WWE Championship. While the two men faced each other again at a live event, it wasn't televised. There had been plans for the two to face each other at WrestleMania in 2014. The Rock's last major match took place against John Cena in 2013. He did face Eric Rowan at WrestleMania 32, but it was a squash match that ended in second. His rivalry against John Cena spanned two WrestleManias, and both men had one victory over one another. As per Dave Meltzer of The Wrestling Observer, The Rock, who recently returned on SmackDown last week, was supposed to continue working for WWE after his match against John Cena in 2013 and build towards a massive clash with Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 30. However, he injured his back while shooting for a movie, and the match was nixed. One of the reasons he hasn't done a serious match since the second John Cena match in 2013 was because of the injuries he received in the match which led to the shooting of the movie Kurt being moved back. The original plan was for him to continue wrestling at WrestleMania with a one-year build for a 2014 match with Brock Lesnar, said Meltzer. Brock Lesnar's shocking victory over The Undertaker at WrestleMania 30 shattered the Deadman's legendary 21-0 undefeated Mania streak, leaving the entire WWE universe in awe. The Undertaker himself harbored doubts about whether the Beast Incarnate was the ideal candidate to conclude his iconic streak. Here is what The Undertaker had told the Dallas Morning News on the topic. Although, I don't know if Brock was the right guy. I like Brock, me and Brock are friends. I don't know that Brock needed that win. Brock was a bona fide superstar at that point, so I don't know that he needed it, The Undertaker said. It is interesting to realize that the monumental moment of the streak being broken would not have happened if The Rock had been available to compete at WrestleMania 30 against the Beast Incarnate. Matt Riddle's next big move after WWE release leak. It looks like ex-WWE star Matt Riddle could make a big move after his abrupt release. The King of Bros was recently let go by a WWE. Riddle will arguably go down as one of the most controversial wrestlers wrestlers of the modern era. Controversies always seemed to follow him and all finally came to a boiling point when he accused a cop of sexually assaulting him before quickly deleting the post. On the latest edition of the Wrestling Observer Radio, Dave Meltzer noted that at least one big MMA promotion was interested in signing Matt Riddle. I do know that Riddle has got at least one major MMA promotion, if not more, that is interested in bringing him back to MMA. The King of Bros excelled under the Vince McMahon-led creative team when he teamed up with Randy Orton to form r Bro. However, he seemingly lost momentum in the months leading up to his departure. Years ago, Riddle spoke about wanting to retire Brock Lesnar. He discussed his goal on various occasions during interviews, and Lesnar didn't appreciate the same. Here's what the former United States champion later said on the After the Bell podcast. I'll be honest with you. The guy Lesnar has it all. I think he's taken my comments as, like, literal disrespect. I think he really hates me. Which, hey, uh, I get it. I rubbed you the wrong way. I told everybody that I get it. I'll stay away. I won't call people out anymore. I don't call these people out anymore. I'm not going to go away. I'm going to make myself valuable enough to where the money is on the table. I know I can do that. Lesnar made it clear to Riddle that he would never wrestle him. The Beast Incarnate did come face to face with the former WWE star on a few occasions, including the Elimination Chamber match in Saudi Arabia. What do you think? Will fans get to see Matt Riddle in a major MMA promotion soon? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Former WWE Champion wants a WrestleMania match against Seth Rollins in India Jinder Mahal recently stated that if WrestleMania were ever to happen in India, he would like to face WWE World Heavyweight Champion Seth Rollins at the show. The company recently came down to Hyderabad, India for Superstar Spectacle 2023. The show was an unqualified success with memorable matches, further elevated by a raucous crowd. Several performers were in action at the live event including Mahal, Rollins, John Cena, Rhea Ripley, Drew McIntyre, and many more. The success of the show has led to many wondering 
that the promotion would host more shows in India and sometime down the line, even a WrestleMania. In a chat with Sports Kita Wrestling, Jinder Mahal was asked about the chances of an addition of the show shows going down in India. Mahal stated that if fans made their interest known vocally, the global juggernaut would not turn a blind eye. I would love it. I can't promise anything. That responsibility is on the fans. Make so much noise that WWE has no choice. So if they come back regularly, maybe every year to India, even Hyderabad, anywhere, and then one day, WrestleMania in India, said Mahal. Furthermore, when asked which performer he would like to take on if WrestleMania were to happen in India, Mahal picked Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins, because we have history. Me and Seth Rollins have so much history, added Mahal. In the same chat, Mahal stated that a new version of the bloodline comprised of Indian origin athletes could become a reality down the line. Jinder Mahal feels if the global juggernaut sets up a performance center in India and recruits more talent, the chances of an Indian bloodline taking over wrestling is possible. Of course it could. We are trying our best, but I think it's really important for WWE to do another tryout in India. Maybe another performance center in India, then truly another bloodline, an Indian bloodline, would take over all of WWE. But before that, we need to stay motivated, set goals, work hard, and get yourself ready to become the bloodline, said Jinder Mahal. Mahal is currently a member of Indusure on the Raw brand, where he serves as the on-screen manager of Sangha and Veer Mahan. 33-year-old responsible for LA Knight's WWE success, LA Knight has become one of WWE's most popular baby faces over the last year. Grayson Waller, Knight's former NXT rival, believes fans only started cheering the megastar thanks to their storyline. The two men faced each other several times on WWE's NXT brand. The angle ended after Waller defeated Knight in a last-man-standing match at Roadblock 2022. In an interview with the Australian network CN, the 33-year-old took credit for Knight's rise to stardom on the main roster. If anyone was a big fan of NXT, 2.0 when it started up, everyone hated L.A. Knight, Waller said. No one liked L.A. Knight, then all of a sudden he starts getting in there with Grayson Waller, and all of a sudden people start cheering him. Yeah, all that dumb stuff that he does, that's because of me. If it wasn't for me, he never would have done that. Knight initially debuted on the main roster as Max Dupree, the manager of Maximum Male Models Mace and Mansoor. The 40-year-old reverted back to his NXT persona in September 2022, two months after Triple Edge replaced Vince McMahon as WWE's creative figurehead. In recent months, Grayson Waller has established himself as one of the top bad guys on SmackDown. LA Knight, in the meantime, is now among the main fan favorites on Friday nights. Waller thinks he will definitely cross paths with Knight again in the near future. I think myself and LA are probably on a path finding each other again because we just can't help ourselves. We're very similar. We like to talk, we like to say horrendous things about each other, and at the end of the day, that's entertaining television. We might not like each other, but I think there's some fun to be had on SmackDown. In the same interview, Waller named the date and place when a first time ever match between himself and Roman Reigns could potentially happen. Would you like to see Waller feud with Knight on SmackDown? Let us know in the comments section below. Ronan Reigns never getting dethroned as undisputed Universal Champion Jinder Mahal recently stated that the only way Roman Reigns' run with the undisputed Universal Championship could end is by him retiring from WWE. The Tribal Chief's title reign is arguably one of the greatest in the history of the global juggernaut's long and illustrious history. He has long surpassed the 1,000-day mark as the champion and looks unbeatable at the moment. There's hardly any big name left on WWE's roster who hasn't been a victim of Reigns' dominance. In a chat with Sports Kita Wrestling ahead of Superstar Spectacle 2020, Jinder Mahal was asked to name who could end Roman Reigns' historic reign. The modern-day Maharaja explained that going by his momentum, the Tribal Chief's title run could only end if he chose to step aside from the squared circle. Jinder Mahal also mentioned that with Paul Heyman's guidance and a relaxed schedule, the bloodline leader was in an advantageous position. I think the only one who can dethrone Roman Reigns is himself when he retires. That's my answer. Right now, just so much momentum. He has Paul Heyman in his ear guiding him, and of course, his schedule. He only comes around once in a while, he picks his shots, so he has every Every advantage, said Jinder Mahal. One of the biggest dream matches fans have been craving is a battle of behemoths between Roman Reigns and Gunther. Just like Reigns, Gunther has been on a rampage as the Intercontinental Champion. Speaking to Sports Kita Wrestling, Shanky picked the Ring General as the potential candidate to end the head of the table's run at the top. Maybe Gunther, who's the Intercontinental Champion, said Shanky. Considering both Gunther and Reigns perform on different brands, it's safe to say a dream match between them is still far away from becoming a reality. Creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing Take me 